I always bonded with you over TV. We just love to watch a lot of television. We grew mm -hmm. up watching a lot of television. It infected us uh, early. I think it's where probably we, we got a lot of our uh, sense of humor. But you watch a lot of YouTube. Oh, yes. That is something I don't do nearly as much. Um, How did you find that out? <laughs> yes, I do watch a lot I of YouTube. I did find it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so what is it? What do you like to watch on YouTube that you're not getting on television? <laughs> Like, what's YouTube giving you that? And, oh. and, I'm, and I'm, that's not challenging because I just want to know, like, should I be watching more YouTube? I mean, so uh, there's a phenomenon called slow radio, which is like radio where not much is happening. Mm -hmm. YouTube is like slow TV. So it doesn't have to be a lot happening, but it just keeps sort of happening in front of you. And you sort of it can help you settle your brain, I feel like sometimes. So it does not like like in an era where every TV show you turn on, it's like. Well, the last episode, you got to be like where the sopranification of television yes, where yes. you, you need to, to know this. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm out. I don't I have three kids. I'm busy. I can't do all that. Last night I watched a guy, Dr. Connor uh, from he's from the UK and somewhere. And he cleaned out somebody's impacted ear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, he, and he's in and, and OK. And he's got a British accent. So it's very like light and entertaining. You missed the rave for that. Yeah, I missed yeah. the rave for that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was a really impacted ear. He couldn't really come. Impacted. Okay. He was really impacted. I couldn't come. He was uh, <laughs> So I started with, ear. I started with, I used to watch, I still do, uh, the, uh, Dr. Pimple Popper. Everybody oh, yeah. knows Dr. Pimple Popper. And then I sort of moved to ears. Uh, and the then, gateway. You know, the yeah. The gateway to ear. Yeah. So last yeah. time, as, as so I was you're an do, ear, nose, and throat man. I'm an ear, nose, and throat man. Yeah. <laughs> but the, and then there's just a lot I'm of- I'm a like, breast guy and you're an ear, nose, and throat man. <laughs> so, and then there's a lot of people, there's a whole generation of young people growing up who don't actually even want to be on TV. So they're actually spending time and effort to make things that are very good that should be on TV maybe, but these people didn't grow up in a TV generation. So they're just like, like I watched a four hour video about plagiarism on YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah, like four hours, just about plagiarism as it happens on YouTube by a guy named H Bomber Guy. And I didn't know I was going to watch all four hours of it. I was like, ah, let's see what happens. And then it's like three in the morning. I'm like holding my phone. Like, I got to <laughs> see how this ends. Does he solve the case? So there's these, they're called uh, video essays. And so there's like FD Signifier, H Bomber Guy. I just discovered Lindsay Ellis. Like there's all these people who are making these basically documentaries, but out of their homes on YouTube. And I'll, and then you could, and so I, it's, it's better that I find it to be more entertaining than what's on TV generally. And uh, what about like cooking shows? Do you ever do cooking shows? Yeah, who's the guy? Uh, uh, Binging with Babish is good because mm -hmm. he takes shit. You would like this. He takes food that has been on television. Like, for example, on The Simpsons, they make something and he makes it in real life. Mm. And so you get to see like the food that has been a part of TV shows that he then creates. I could see that life. for most any other TV show, but uh, Simpsons is a cartoon, so I don't know how they're recreating. I mean, uh, like if someone goes to Moe's and orders something, like they... yeah, like the like the like I think like the sandwich, the famous like the big sandwich that that Homer or he yeah, he makes yeah. what he thinks is his version of that. There's just a variety of things on YouTube, and then like for example, like my daughter wanted to learn how to ride a bike, and I don't know how to teach a kid how to ride a bike, and so we were at the park, and she's like, "I want to learn today." She's very insistent, right? And so I googled easy way to teach kid to ride bike on YouTube and up tops this video of this guy who's like, here's how you teach a kid how to ride a bike in five minutes. And it worked in about seven minutes. That's fantastic. So it's a font of, I feel like it, YouTube gets disrespected because we think we know, we think we know. What I think there's like. a certain thing that's perfect. And that's a perfect application for YouTube. I, th the ways that I use YouTube are mostly for guitar. Like there'll be a song that I hear and I really want to hear it. And all I have to do is push in, how do I play that song on the guitar? And there are nine people there. Mm -hmm. um, two are always from England. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, and they're in their basement and they're showing me how to do it. And, yeah. and they're being very patient. Yep. And I really connect with some of these people. And I think that's a fantastic use of it. I think when people are going on YouTube to learn how to defend themselves legally in a court of law <laughs> or remove a cornea, you know, that's where it's a problem. Well, yeah, that's that that happened to me. I shouldn't have removed that cornea, but uh, <laughs> fair. And you went on YouTube, totally how to fair. put it back. How to put a cornea how back in, fi it? in five minutes, because I don't have a lot of time. How do I re reattach this cornea? So, yeah, but I think there's just a lot of like, there's a lot of things happening on you. Like, I mean, I watched this show on YouTube. Like, I didn't, I don't listen to the podcast. And I just, and what happened, this is why I sent you that email, because once you sort of go down a hole, it suddenly takes you down. I was like, I didn't know Conan was this good of an interviewer. 
Right. Thank so, you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've been interviewed by him. Yeah. I know, but I didn't know. I didn't Since know. Since 1993. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, he's really good at talking to people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the problem is it's not just confined to this studio or it's it's pretty much where any, anywhere I go in the world, I end up talking to people for a really long time in life. That's... Uh, I, have, I mean, that happens to me too, people. Oh, you're, people. I can tell that you're... You're like me and that I'm not waiting for the lights and the cameras or whatever. Mm -mm. I will be really having a long conversation with somebody uh, at a gas station. Yes, and yes, we will yes. really, I feel like bond in some way. And then I can tell they want to go. <laughs> 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 so what started with, hey, aren't you Conan O'Brien? Uh, you know, I enjoy your work ends with them saying, I gotta go. Yeah, and get maybe got... maybe don't have a landmine in your house, Conan. But I'll, <laughs> I will see you later. But uh, I think I agree with your wife on that. But yeah, she would know. She would listen to it. So uh, and life is good. Not really. <laughs> what? No. Here's the thing. I overheard. I'm coming down the stairs because I hear you talking to Andy Richter, yeah. who's 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 out there uh, hanging out, yeah. uh, taking food from the kitchen. Um, yeah, it looked like a co-working space and it was selling really funny. It, selling it online. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> um, and he, I remember he, I think he just, I was as I as I was coming down the stairs, he said, "How's it going?" And you said, "I did the thing where you answered honestly, which you're not supposed to do. You know, like I just sort of I forget sometimes that you're supposed to be like, oh, it's great." And it's not bad, but not you know. in that voice. No, it's bad. It's well, that's how you know it's not great. Everything's fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I, I feel really great about all my life choices and the state of the world. It's yeah. really growing great. I have no issues. There's nothing. I got three kids. That's I'm perfect number of kids to have. <laughs> I got a 12 year old, and a nine year old, and a five year old. Those ages are all awesome. Yeah, everything's <laughs> everything's great. Nothing, nothing going wrong. Mom's 86. Things are perfect. Yes, life, life. <laughs> And I picked the right business to be in. Show business. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> like I've made a lot of good choices. Yeah. No, so things are good. <laughs> you, I, I get the sense, correct me if I'm wrong, you like some chaos. Oh, no. No. I no, would... no, no. You like, you like, I feel like because you always have a bunch of projects. It always feels to me like you have a bunch of things. Too many things. Too many things going on at the same time. And yes. you must be drawn to that. I get very phobic. Mm -hmm. You know, people want me to be thinking about more than one thing at a time. And I, I visibly tense up because I just want to think about one thing at a time. And I, th I feel like you like to put yourself in a position where, I, okay, I'm doing this show for ABC, then I'm, but I'm doing this special for CNN, but I'm also doing this and I'm also doing that. And then I'm building a kiln to make some, some pots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and then I, then I got to finish that ear impact video. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think I, here, my problem is that I'm just curious about a lot of things. So I definitely do tend to overload myself with like, oh, I can do this and I can do that. And then also, again, I pick, you know, show business. You can't be like, I'm going to do one project because that's going to be the one that is going to pay my bills. So you're like, yep. I got to probably should start all four of these things and see what happens. And then right. I look up and be like, oh, my God, <laughs> like there's there's too many things. Out. Yeah. So but I, I am, unfortunately, as an only child, curious about a lot of things can sort of talk myself into any idea and often attracted to ideas that are like, you know, that later I'm like, whose idea was this? And my wife's like, you're the one who decided to do a four hour documentary about Bill Cosby. I'm like, oh, that's right. It was me. Uh, right. I, I, that never gets a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it used to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I can find myself going down deep holes that I don't realize how deep and dark they're going to be or how thick they're going to be until I'm sort of like halfway through and then, yeah. But and then I, if you, if you're, this is what I do. I get in those situations and halfway through, I throw a, a hissy fit and no one says hissy fit enough. And I think we need to bring, bring it back because it's a very masculine way to throw yeah. a fit. And I throw a- uh, I call him a hisso fit. To make hisso fit. Yeah. <laughs> I just a hiss, say- A hiss, a fit. <laughs> I get saying like, who's, who made this call? Yeah. Who decided? Yeah. And they invariably say it was you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. usually my wife. And yeah. then I'm, I, we hadn't get into a fight, and I start assembling the crossbow, <laughs> so I can menace her. And with two it. hours later, it's in more pieces than when you started. Right, no. and, she and I have an arrow sticking out of my head, <laughs> Steve Martin, 1977 Thank style. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have that same thing. Like, what was who? Wh who agreed to this? And then somebody will show me an email where it's like, you said I will do this. And yeah. Like, oh yeah. No, it's just you know, I mean, capitalism makes you make funny uh, choices to like, you know, feed your children.
Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, it's just I definitely am like interested in a lot of things and also happen to be in a business where you kind of have to be interested in a lot of things unless you get, you know, unless you somehow find the one job. And, you know, I don't have the one job, so I have to sort of like, you know, and I also just grew up in a way that like, you know, I was <laughs> the I was like you as in as being a stand up comic and a, and who's doing you have to I have to make my own gravy like the dog food commercial. Like I can't like wait for somebody else to go. You're the guy. You know, I know I sort of know where I exist in this business, thankfully. So I'm not going to get the call where it's like we figured out who the next Marvel hero is. It's you. It's not going to happen. So I just know that I have to sort of like do my own thing. Yeah. Also, the training involved and yeah. the dieting. Yeah. That's why I haven't done it. Oh, really? That's, That's the only reason. Only oh. reason. Yeah. yeah. Every day they call. Are you ready? Every, yeah. Are you ready? What are, are ready? They, what are they offering you? What role? <laughs> let him pick you can have your pick of, yeah well apparently captain marvel had a uh is there a captain marvel yeah, but it's a woman it's a woman yeah well she has a great grandmother <laughs> and i could play her grandma with a pro yeah with a, with a prominent eye vein nice. and thin lips so uh but also i had to get in kick-ass shape for that oh boy. no i just uh, is this kick-ass shape Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I, just, I just didn't know. I just don't know. I don't well, know. I don't know. Clearly, you took your glasses off. I can't sorry. see. I just was, I you're, you're sitting you're... opposite an incredible male specimen. <laughs> I'm sure. I just didn't know. I'm, uh, yeah, I yes. didn't know. I just was, probably... I was just making sure that I could judge what, what you think kick-ass shape is. There's okay. waves of testosterone coming off my body right now. No. Right, Sona? No, there isn't. At all. <laughs> <laughs> She's there like, there's not, not a wave. No. I think it's your body deflecting yeah. testosterone. Oh, that's it. Yeah. It's yeah. testosterone. trying to. Yeah. <laughs> testosterone is passing through your body. If there's any testosterone in the air, my body repels it immediately. <laughs>